Hi, this is John. Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick for Thomcraft version 6. So in this episode, I want to take a look at Essentia Tubes. This is going to be a way to make the Essentia Smeltery easier to use. So you can see I've dug out a new room over here for the Smeltery. Okay, so let's go back into discovering Essentia Tubes. So when we first started doing Essentia, I smelted some very specific things because I need these files. So we need an observation in alchemy, an observation in artifice. We need vitium, uh, vinculum, alienus, and alchemia. Now, other than alienus, I did them all on camera. Alienus you get from enderpearls. So let's go ahead and get those four things. And to get the file, uh, you can just take a file to your jar or to your alembic and draw out 10 of it. So if you have at least 10, you can put it in a file. Files can only hold 10, no more, no less. Okay, so let's go back into the Thalmanomicon. Get it complete on this. And now we can make Essentia Tubes. There are lots of different kinds. There's buffers, there's an alchemical construct, which we'll use later. There's also an Essentia Resonator. So let's build a few of those things and see how these tubes might work. There are a lot of ways to use them. So I'm not gonna cover everything about them, but I will cover a few things. So one thing we need for tubing is going to be uh, Quicksilver drops. You get Quicksilver by smelting up Cinnabar ore. So let's go ahead and get that cooking. We're also gonna need alchemical brass nuggets. So to do that, we simply turn a brass ingot into brass nuggets. You get nine nuggets for one ingot. There we go. Okay, so to make the resonator, it's simply four iron plates, a piece of quartz, and a stick. So there we go, we need 47V. So there is our resonator. And now we can make some tubes. So let's go ahead and, oh yeah, we didn't get Quicksilver yet. Uh, again, it's nine Quicksilver drops for one Quicksilver, so you get plenty of that. Uh, there we go, so let's go ahead and, did we scan these things? Nope. All right, so let's go ahead and do this now. So you get eight tubes for a Quicksilver drop, an alchemical brass nugget, two iron plates, and a piece of glass. There we go. And I also want to make some Essentia valves. And to get Essentia valves, you put the tube in there with a lever. There we go, Essentia valves. Now let's go smelt up these droppers and turn them into Essentia. So there are six aspects on here, which is why I made six valves. Again, like I said, there are many more ways that you can hook up these tubing networks. There's a lot more kinds of tubes. So I'm not going to cover everything. You'll have to read a little bit of Thalmanomicon to get it all working right. But uh, one thing that is important to keep in mind is that your tubes can only have one kind of Essentia in them at a time at least for the default Essentia tubes. Uh, with your caster's gauntlets, you can disconnect parts of the tubing network. So I don't want it to go in here, I want everything to flow through here. So they'll come out of the Alembics and they'll go through here. Now these valves are important because they allow us to shut off the flow into a place. And flow is kind of a difficult concept to explain. But basically, the network will suction for a kind of Essentia. And we can see what it's doing by using the resonator. So right now, it's going to be suction zero untyped. In other words, there is no suction in the network, and there's no preference for any particular kind of Essentia. If I were to open this valve with the one jar I actually have Essentia in right now, it will now be sucking for Machina and the farther away it goes, the less suction it has. That's okay, uh, it's got plenty of suction. If you take the label off by shift right clicking, we will actually get less suction because it will only be uh, 32 rather than 64. So we can increase the suction by applying labels. So let's go ahead and turn this off and let's go ahead and start hooking up our dropper. So I've got plenty of momentum in there, hook up the dropper, and I made a couple more Alembics as well. So we should start seeing our stuff drop in there. 
So here we go, we have some Machina. So we could go ahead and open this because right now, nothing is gonna leave these two because there's nowhere for it to go. It will only have suction if there's some place for it to go. So I don't wanna just open these though without having a type of Essentia to pull for. Okay, I threw a couple of extra droppers in here and I have got some files. So to make sure we don't have a conflict, one of the easiest ways to do that is to make sure we have a jar that's pulling for that. So if we have, say, this vacuos over here, I can grab a file of that, dump it in the jar, and put a label on there. Actually, the label is not as important as having something in there, but the label does help to identify things. So when I open up this valve, we will now be pulling for vacuos. And you can see that there's no longer vacuos in that place. It's been replaced with Perdicio, which didn't have any place to go a minute ago. So now we can close the vacuos and we can pull for something else. So how about Machina? So now we should drain out the Machina and it will get replaced by the Potentia. So what happens if we have things pulling for random stuff? Well, we might end up with a conflict. If we don't have any one kind of Essentia being pulled for, we might pull two acids at the same time. Let's see what happens if we just open this one with random suction. So as you can see, we've got Permutatio in here, but there's one Potentia Essentia in here. So we have caused a conflict and that's kind of a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and I want to get something that will suction for Potentia, or sorry, Perdicio. So, because that's what is in our piping network. Oh, Potentia, Never mind. it's Potentia. Let's get that then, there we go. So, not a label. Uh, I want to get a file of that and we'll put the Potentia in here and now we should get rid of the conflict. It sometimes takes a second to resolve things, but there should not be anything Potentia in here right now. So the question would be now, why is this not going in here? The label is not gonna help because we already have enough suction. None of our other valves are open, so we must have another conflict. Potentia, permutatio. So there we go, we do have another conflict. So let's go ahead and put a label on this and go ahead and open it up for potentia, or sorry, permutatio. We'll close potentia and open permutatio. So now that's draining out of there. And that should take care of all of those conflicts. Let's go ahead and close this valve and open the Potentia one. Yep, that takes care of that. And while we're doing that, I will go ahead and get a file of Terra and I'll put that in here. That way we can label this. That should be all of the Potentia. So let's go ahead and draw the Terra. That should be about done with the Terra. Yep, okay. So the last one left is the Perdicio. Now, if you have more than one type of suction, you will get a conflict. And you can often see a conflict with these particle effects. Let's see what happens when we open two kinds of jars. There we go. Terra and Perdicio are kind of fighting over their suction. So you don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure you only have one thing being drawn out. Now again, they didn't go in the tube network. They are only pulled towards a source and jars are sources, but alembics are not. Alembics are only from sources. They're not to sources. So that pretty well covers the Essentia tubes or at least the basics. Like I said, there are way more. There are filtered tubes and restricted tubes and directional tubes and buffers and you can make very complex systems that will actually make it much easier to draw Essentia in. But honestly, uh, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Feel free to play with it. It's pretty cool, but not really something I'm looking forward to. That's Essentia tubing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.